So we're in Denver the, for the big 5G event. I'm here with Mohammed from Huawei. We're going to talk about 5G. Obviously, it's the, it's the big 5G event. Good to see you, Mohammed. Really? Pleasure to have me. So um, 5G deployments have started in, in scale in some markets. Uh, what could be done to help the, the business potential for the service providers as they roll out 5G services? Yeah, absolutely. You're absolutely right. I mean, uh, what we've seen so far, especially the last quarter, is an unprecedented appetite and interest from all of the carriers globally to uh, get involved in 5G. But as you mentioned, we also saw a lot of large-scale deployment. Uh, like for example, in Korea, we have one of our partners there, they just announced that they will deploy 25,000 more BTSs on top of what they have, okay. uh, just like in the course of next month. So, so the, the, the 5G ecosystem is being developed very fast, faster than previous generation. But uh, what, what's really important now to address is how to enable a healthy 5G business environment to enable the uh, innovative environment and also to enable investment and the competition across the board. So the real thing here is to, is to address the real collaboration between different entities in the ecosystem, uh, no matter government, standard organization, uh, uh, industry bodies, uh, vendors, operators. And why we need to do this? Because we need all to work together to make sure that it's happening. But as you may expect, the main elephant in the room is fair and transparent regulations and future-looking policy. Right, okay, so what can be done in terms of policy and regulation to help move the market on? So when we talk about policies and regulations, uh, first of all, we, we, we need to be future-looking. Uh, in one side, regulations and policy need to be generic enough to allow investment and innovation because we do not know what's going to happen tomorrow or next year and you don't want to change it every day. So losing this kind of policies from on operators, it allows them to innovate. But from the other side also, you need to be horizontally, you need to be horizontal in terms of uh, addressing different industries, in terms of addressing different uh, uh, industry bodies. Right. And, and, and that, that will make sure that we, we protect the interest of uh, people, consumers, interest of business organizations, and also we uh, protect the national uh, competitiveness and things like security and uh, data privacy. So, so these are the things that, that need to be done from policies. One more thing also we need to address, or policies need to address, is spectrum. You cannot talk about 5G without mentioning spectrum. Right. So the release of the right amount of spectrum on the right band is very important. High band by itself cannot cut it. Mid band is fundamental for 5G. Low band also has coverage. Uh, also things like opening public facilities for sites and, right. and, and losing that kind of uh, uh, process of of getting those yeah. so you know these are the things that need to happen so that we can all move forward in a very healthy environment okay. it, it's, it's not just about 5g trust me it's about ICT is it's becoming increasingly obvious that we really need to redefine this inclusiveness of 5g connectivity ICT in general okay and you mentioned security there and that's obviously you know quite a big uh, issue that's being uh, raised with 5G in lots of different ways. Do you think that any security concerns or perceptions or issues might hold up the development of the 5G market? So that's a very important point for 5G. So, so uh, first point, let me, let me just address uh, holding investment back, 5G investment. We have not seen that so far. So as a matter of fact, Last quarter, we've seen a surge in our uh, business and carrier network. Overall, we have 39% increase in our revenue quarter year over year. And even in our network unit, we had double digit growth. Despite the fact that 5G is more secure than previous generation, however, the scope of service for 5G is so wide. So, so security and privacy, it's a valid concern. And yeah. it needs to be addressed. But when we address the security and privacy, we need to address it via two things. 
first of all, we need to invest in technology because the technology, technology is responsible of solving this. Number two, we need to invest in collaboration, open collaboration. Government need to talk to academia, vendors, operators, standard organization, so that they can develop this kind of future-looking framework that, it, that is inclusive for everybody, for every industry, for the whole ecosystem. Otherwise, if we just talk about the issue of security without investing in the solution, I think that's not going to solve the issue, and it is going to be a, a hurdle, you know, for the uh, for expanding the uh, great technology like 5G. Okay, great, Mohammed. Very nice to see you again. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you and, so much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the event here in Denver. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you.